I was talking to somebody the other day, and they said, Hey Marcus, I was watching The Witcher the other day, and he's got two swords on his back. How many swords could somebody realistically carry? I mean, theoretically, you could just take like 20 of these belt loops and wrap them around, and then you'd be carrying 20 swords, but that wouldn't really be comfortable or practical. So let's look at history. You've got the samurai, and they're really popular for carrying two swords, the katana and the wakizashi, a longer sword and a shorter one. But let's take that up a notch by looking at the Landsknecht, the German mercenaries. They have a shorter sword on their hip, and they carry a great big Zweihander, which is pretty much a great sword. So those are two different instances of carrying two swords. But what about three? If we look at the samurai again, then we see that some carried the Odachi, which was the Japanese greatsword, essentially, along with the traditional Daisho, the Katana and Wakizashi. Although the Odachi was normally worn on the back just for transportation purposes. purposes. So to my knowledge, the most swords that somebody has historically carried was three. But we can do more. If you replace the katana with something a bit more unorthodox, one of those swords that essentially splits into two swords, and yes, those did exist, namely with rapiers and with the Chinese Dao. Zuko from Avatar had one, too. So that ups your amount to four swords already. And the Roman legionaries wore their gladius on the right-hand side, so that way they could easily pull it out while in close, confined quarters. So slap one of those on there and you've got five. And that wouldn't be too cumbersome, but I think that's the limit of what somebody could wear, although we could take a note from the Lance Connect and just carry a bigger sword for technically six. So I think that's the most swords that somebody could theoretically comfortably carry.